morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody? How are you? It's been a while, hasn't it? Been a while. Still, these uh, videos are produced on an ad hoc basis. They're not done according to a schedule. I've never promised you a rose garden. So, why am I recording something today? Well, I'll tell you why, because somebody subscribed to my YouTube channel. So I think we're in, might be in double figures now, you know. I'm not in uh, any danger of getting a YouTube Creators Award anytime soon, you know. I think I've still got 9,985 subscribers to go. But it's a spring-like day and I'm full of the joys of spring. So I thought I'd just, uh, I'd just sort of keep my hand in, you know, just record a video. The lighting's very inconsistent today. It's a spring-like day. It's lovely. You know, a little bit of high uh, cloud, lots of sunshine, lots of bright shadows. The enemy of good videography. But uh, you know, I'm in a good mood. And this is more more of a diary than anything, you know. So perhaps in 10, 20 years, I'll look back and. And think oh yeah that's what was going on at the time you know I've been invited to talk to the public uh, public people's forum or something I forget exactly what they're called the um, we we'll have to keep adjusting the contrast on this brightness because it doesn't do it automatically uh, yeah so uh, it, then this is a dental talk and it's a you know it's a it's just something to do. Just again, I just want to do it. Just it's an echo of an activity that I used to do a lot of, and I like to keep my hand in, and and it gives me a chance to get my thoughts together and uh, put them all down, you know, in in some sort of a PowerPoint presentation, and then and rattle a few people's cages. Well, I'll, I'll be talking to a load of board, mostly female, middle management, NHS middle management, who've been told that they need to go on a training course you know that they've got to go and and uh, quite a few of them will will be going on it because they know nothing about dentistry they've been given the job of of running dentistry and they're like they've only been in the job two weeks and so they're like you know I've been sent here because I don't know anything about dentistry in the hope that you might you know train me up might might, might help me out so if so, I'm going to help them out, but probably not in the in the direction that <laughs> the people who sent them there think. Do you think my teeth? Do you think my teeth are looking whiter? I, uh, this is my latest plan to sell whitening. I figure that if you have really white teeth, to the point where people say to you, "You've got lovely white teeth," you know, how do you get your teeth so white? And I should say, "Aha! Our home whitening." Our home whitening plan, 149 pounds, and uh, we take the impressions, we cast them in stone, which takes next to no stone because you only need like a horseshoe cast. We've got a Japanese or Chinese suck down splint machine, what they call a sandwich vacuum former or something. Although well, it's never formed a sandwich, it promotes these splints. And uh, you suck down the old splint and you just cut around the edges and it takes, I don't know, half an hour. But we tell the patient to come back in an hour. So basically instead of having it all done and then having to come back next week or the next day or something to pick it up, we just tell them to sit in the waiting room, check their emails and by the time they finish then we've, we've got their splints. We use uh, Polar Night which is a 16% uh, carbamide peroxide, which resolves to a 6% hydrogen peroxide, which is the maximum you can prescribe and dispense in the UK. And uh, it's not as good as the old 35%, but it, it's okay, you know, it works. And uh, as you can see. And um, the reason why we use Polar Night, there was CTS did very, very heavily flog another uh, brand 
that was being sold in larger syringes but it, it, it certainly I don't think it was if anything it wasn't much cheaper and the packaging was really you know it, it was only you know they're a new it's a new supplier and they just hadn't got the wow factor of the polar night clear plastic box etc etc so and it is a bit about wow factor I mean you know you're selling for 149 pounds you're selling something that's probably cost you 60 uh, plus you know a bit of uh, time to make the splints so you know probably let's say 100 uh, although you know I mean most other dentists should be paying 250 for it so 150 we're we're pretty uh, good you know pretty reasonable and to have a one hour turnaround so I'm quite pleased with how that's going but um, the other thing is that uh, you should really do it in-house because you're going to get charged I don't know 20 30 pounds for a whitening trays by a technician and believe me it's it's not going to take him half an hour so and while the uh, our technician in his price list had everything about uh, reservoirs you know uh, in the trays and uh, gum fitted and scalloped and all that they never were I don't know what he thought he was thinking he just he used to just suck them down cut them out and, and send them back and I think he was charging nearly 60 pounds for these things for two of them uh, so so we still knock that on the head because I mean by the time you've done three if you buy a machine by the time you've done three you've got the money back for the machine so this is a it's a classic example of people pricing themselves out of a job um, anyway so we do them in-house now which means that we're not we're not held hostage to whether or not he's busy at that time and whether he feels like doing one at that time and you know what technicians are like you know you've got to they, they've got to do like 15 minutes moaning over a five minute job haven't they so and then you know you've got to go down on your knees and ask him if it's possible if he could do it while the patient waits and oh my god so so that's it so we don't send them to him anymore we just do them in and it's an easy job the nurses can do it the uh, research shows that you don't need reservoirs so um, there's two ways you can make reservoirs you use either block out resin some sort of uh, ultradon ultradent have a product for everything don't they so they've probably got some sort of like your block out resin that you just paint on the facial surfaces of the teeth or you can actually do it with just a very very dilute plaster mix and uh, paint that on the facial surfaces and that just sort of sets hard pretty well straight away but you don't need to do it that's the that's my whole point the, all the research shows that it's not necessary so um, and the other thing you don't need to do is you don't need to scallop the borders around the teeth the uh, studies show that um, well, the, the theory was that if you scalloped it around the teeth then any uh, excess gel would escape and wouldn't be held on the gums and therefore wouldn't burn the gums but um, they've uh, shown uh, that uh, there's no difference in uh, post-operative sensitivity even if, you know even if you cut a straight line round the gums two millimeters above the gingival crevice then you know that's all you need so no reservoirs no scalloping bosh bosh you can have a tray made in in literally uh, let's say half an hour from impression to being packed up and that's not bad you know 150 quid is is, is nice uh, chump change isn't it to have in the till in fact I uh, had a guy ring me yesterday and ask if uh, say that he'd uh, been recommended to have his teeth whitened and so we've I'm literally going to meet him now in in about uh, 15 minutes take his impressions at uh, 8.45 and I fully expect him to be uh, going by 9.45 the the other thing with whitening is that you have to the first course of whitening has to be completed under the supervision of a dentist and um, you know and these, these part of my theme when I'm going to do this talk is the ridiculousness of the regulations that we're currently subjected to I mean that 
basically, the first uh, course of treatment has to be completed under the supervision of a dentist. It means it has to be in surgery, doesn't it? And if you're doing at home whitening, forcing the patient to sit, because the, the ideal um, exposure time for this gel is two hours. So forcing a patient to sit somewhere for two hours when they pick up their trays is just silly buggery of the highest order. And so of course what happens is the first course tends to be minuscule. I mean what you do is you show the patient the trays, you put one dot of bleach in one tooth check that the and say to the patient just check that the trays fit inside your mouth they put the trays in and you say right okay they look like they fit take them out again you rinse it out and then that's their first course of bleaching you know 10 seconds one tooth 10 seconds it's a course it's a course don't GDC don't come after me it's a course you know and I do it I even put the bleach in so <laughs> and I've got uh, talking of the GDC you know I mean the, the high temple of silly buggery um, sent me a letter by recorded delivery believe it or not yesterday saying that I hadn't declared my CPD having sent me 10 emails telling me to log on and declare my CPD and what happened was the first time I got it because you don't you have to declare so many hours over two years so you can declare zero hours for your first year as long as you've done all the hours by the end of your second year right so I logged on declared zero hours and logged off again but I kept getting in these emails and I kept getting in and then after a while and I logged on again and I just checked on my online CBD record that I had logged on and I've entered zero hours for year one which is you know correct and uh, And bugger me if they haven't uh, sent me a letter saying that you know we haven't had your CPD declaration and if you don't reply now now the difference between what happened to me uh, uh, this time you know at the end of 2018 as opposed to the end of 2017 the end of 2017 they just wrote and told me that I was struck off uh, I mean admittedly that was because that was because they hadn't received the money this time they just haven't received the CPD declaration. Now, that tells you something, doesn't it? Where they're more sensitive. They're far more sensitive about whether or not they get the money than whether you've done the CPD. Now, if you've done the CPD, then, you know, they're like, oh, well, we'll give you another chance to do the CPD. You've got until the middle of March to, not to do the CPD, but to make the declaration. I suppose, and to do it if you need to do some, but in the first year, you don't need to do any. So, um, so I'm stuck with this letter, you know, and, and, and I've somehow I've got to say to them, look, I did log on to your site twice. And you've obviously got some fuck up your end, which means that everyone who logged on and put zero hours was shown as not having made a declaration. Oh. I mean, this follows on hot on the heels of the letter from the... Uh, the local authority saying that uh, you know we've been notified that you've got an x-ray machine but um, we have no uh, record of you notifying us that you've got an x-ray machine and it costs 35 pounds to notify us that you've got an x-ray machine so you must notify us and pay 35 pounds because we just want to let you know that we know you've got one and uh, you'll be in trouble if you don't uh, notify us that you've got one So, and there's no end of this stuff, you know, no end of it. Anyway, that's not what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about something completely different, but, you know, I don't know. I'll, um, I'll see if I've got time today to upload this and see how it goes. But the, the problem is with my computer, the, the, um, the, you can't just upload these videos. You can't just up edit and upload them. You have to edit them and then process them, change their coding. For some reason and then upload them and the um, it takes like an hour of computer time to recode an hour's video so or or 20 minutes video so the whole thing is a it's just a massive 
time sink. There we go. Anyway, it's been nice to talk to you again. And I hope you're well and things are going well. There we go. Ready? Oh, I've gone right up to the curb. Not even a bump. Hey. Okay. Right, okay. Nice to talk to you. Talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye.